Guys, I've got something very, very interesting to show you this morning. If you remember back when the Surface Neo was first announced, it was running a version of Windows that would never see the light of day, not in an official release anyways. It was running something called Windows 10X, which was, like I said, canceled. We moved on to Windows 11. A lot of things in 10X became part of Windows 11. The overall look and feel is very, very similar. Why am I talking about Windows 10X, a long canceled version of Windows? Well, that is because Gus Montz, the person behind bringing Windows to the Surface Duo, has actually managed to port Windows 10X to the Surface Duo in much the same manner. The drivers from, I'm assuming most of the drivers from Windows 11, Windows 10, probably function okay on this as well. And this has actually now been released, a version zero release of Windows 10X on Surface Duo is now available to be downloaded. I've not downloaded it yet because the hinge angle sensor and API reporting is not right. So only the right screen will show up for now. Expect something for the V1. So he's gonna continue actually iterating on this. And you can see a video here of Windows 10X actually functioning. And here is Gus's own video showing that of course, like I said, this does look very, very similar to Windows 11. You can see the taskbar down here kind of shrinking away, which is a uh, feature, maybe you could say, that is still coming to Windows 11. It might have actually rolled out into the uh, official release at this point, but that's where it actually originated was in Windows 10X. And Windows 10X, again, like I said, was meant for Surface Neo. Which is why I asked, does 10X have anything baked in for Neo that is useful on Duo? And Gus said, yes, the shell has proper spanning and dragging support and the docked keyboard with Wonderbar just like Neo. Of course, right now, only one screen is working, so you can't really utilize any of that stuff. But once that hinge angle API is functioning correctly and we're able to go into dual screen mode, this might actually make Windows on uh, Duo a little bit more useful than it was before because the, the ability to move apps from screen to screen on Windows 11 on tiny screens with no mouse and keyboard, it's really, really unfortunate and not very good. But with proper spanning and, and app switching support, this might actually be an improvement in some ways. So I don't have much to share on this right now because like I said, we are in a version zero and it's not something I'm going to attempt until it's you know functioning on both screens and we're kind of set up a bit better. But I wanted to kind of show this to you guys. I'll drop a link in the description to these tweets which do contain a link to the GitHub page where you can actually go and try this if you want to check it out yourself. Huge shout out to Gus who continues to just do awesome stuff for the Surface Duo community. Guys, subscribe so you don't miss any more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.